another frosty morning. Time to rack some glass. We've got 42 panels here. We got to tighten this ground mount down, square it up. And we set 21 panels in the front, 21 in the rear. And we're ready to sling some panels. All right, I'm really, we got trees down yesterday, so it's gonna be a nice day. A little warm up exercise. We'll be lifting some panels. Gotta make sure this baby's tightened down. So and then we, we've got 42 here, and then on our other site we have 96. So 138 panels today. Is it possible? I don't know. It doesn't have to be done. I just would love to get it done today. We'll see what happens. All right, sun's going down, and we are tearing the yard up, just tearing it up. So one of the things that customers don't like to see is their yard looking like this. But we promise we'll put it back after we fix all the water lines we've dug through and everything else we've tore up. So, yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm shoveling. So I told some people, I was like, you want to do solar? I said, you can work for me if you can dig. If you can't dig, you can't. So there's a lot of digging to be done. Missed the septic over here. That's awesome. We got to do a line down to the barn. We're just, we're just Swiss cheesing this place up. Slicing it up. Oh, Willis is in here figuring out the master, the master gutter back-to-back -back plan why he listens to rap can't believe it can't believe he does that to himself so we're going to be uh outdoor gutter here indoor gutter back to back and he's got a plan and we have missed the gas line again more hand digging pretty much just digging this whole thing out by hand to save that that scared me we hit a piece of gas line but it's not attached to anything and then, yeah. oh, look at this. Look at this. There's an electrical diagram inside an LB. That's new. Willis is doodling inside the LB. That's a new one on me. <laughs> oh, I need to get a jackhammer. That's all there is to it. I need to bust out all that footing or do some creative bending. I'll see you later. We got a contraption here. This is a wire pull contraption. We got more wires that, I don't know what. This would be easy, as they say, if it wasn't for the wire. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. And we are boogieing. Um, so we're gonna pull the solar in here in a bit. Pipes are in. I gotta do some more backfilling. Nice 42 panel array. How do you like them black, black on black frames? Bifacial KB Solar. I got a lot to show you down around how we're gonna feed this house. But we're using their original home as a power shed. That's a big old power shed. But we took a space in there where I'll show you that. But now I've got a, we're also sub feeding that. So my goal was to, again, get them down to one meter. Retiring two meters on this property. And so we've got, ooh, lots, we've made a lot of repairs to everything we tore up. Let me show you outside first. So this can be a single 15K maxed out with 19.2 kilowatts of solar. We're using some Pites V5 batteries. And Mr. Willis is over here doing the AC part. And he put his disconnect in. We got an outdoor wiring trough. 
we're doing a power distribution block out here that's going to feed the other house with the 4 op it's going to feed the barn with the mobile home feeder it's going to feed a, gen a generator is going to come back here and feed the inverter that's already pulled in right there and then we have this uf direct berry for a two wire start for the jenny that's going in there too, that's going in there too. and then so pull the meter on the house just to do this electrical work and then i'll show you what he's doing on the inside so we've got solar other house feeds generator and we've got the oh the barn feed so that's that and we're putting micro airs on everything tony's here thankfully because he boogies with these and that's he just does them in his sleep mr thrasher, mr. thrasher. and uh i think willis is enjoying our new cutter yes it's saving a lot of wrist and <laughs> a lot of wrist work there He's always wanted one, so if I finally bought one. James is staying ahead of everybody, helping everybody today, and cleaning up our messes. And then inside, I've got to come up with a battery solution. So in here is our power room. Power's off right now, of course, we pull the meter. But our usual 15k and we made provision to have another 15k if for whatever reason he doesn't like the performance off grid with a single our bypass double lug and then we are running this panel and then everything else i'm trying to figure out this is our first time dealing with the v5 pipes um whether i do it to a hub or anyway these are very nice quality they are a 0.7 C rate battery, but I like the simplicity, single dip switch, not 20 dip switches, and pretty heavy duty 300 amp bus bars between the batteries. So it's awesome there. Um, the only thing that's lacking is racking. I need to come up with a, maybe that's the name of the video, but racking is lacking. They have these little brackets we're using, but I think the limit is I can only stack six. I need eight. So that's it. V5 pipes, we can expand that. And that's our power system. So we've got to, a lot of work to do to get this ready for tomorrow. All right, last day. Buttoning everything up on this 19 kilowatt system. We've uh, done a lot of dirt work on this one because we retired the two meters, like I've said. And so he's down to one power bill. And here's our outdoor. Um, did something a little different this time because of all the sub feeds. We put the power distribution block outside to power his home, his barn and other things. And all our generator power, solar, everything's coming into the gutter. And then this house is being run through some four out through that LB. All right, we're really enjoying that ultra compact 4 aught that is nice to work with, easy to bend, and very helpful. A little bit narrower than this ridiculous triplex we've been using that you really have to wrestle with. It's the first time using the V5 Pites batteries. And just put them on some simple racks. It's just 40, 40 kilowatts, 40 kilowatt hours. Oh, they're almost full. They got nice little green LEDs. Blinking away, I'm almost full. Awesome. And then the inverter is telling me they're, oh, they're about 90%. Minimizing the grid. I am closed looped. Cool. So we're closed looped there. Got the plant up on the internet. We got a bypass in here, our usual. Nothing, nothing new if you've been watching these videos. Indoor trough for, for built for expansion. We could add another inverter on the end if we needed to. And uh, that's about that's about in here, but we are uh, running a generator 400 feet away. We're controlling a little Generac 16 kW with two wire start, and so we could charge these in a grid down, run loads in a grid down, and it's just uh, getting better and better. Now, I wish the Pites had a, a better battery rack. I really like these batteries, and they're really nice 
nice looking uh, single dip switches which is nice simplified um, so really good really good so far so our standard ground mount nothing new there other than I went with uh, the black frames I think they look really nice they didn't have those in the beginning KB Solder didn't offer black on black but now they do so black on black by facials I think we look really good so on this house we're running this house from over where I just walked um, retired this meter we put in a bypass to allow the customer he wanted the option to run this house on the generator only he's used to doing that so I said sure we can do that so we're doing that through another GE bypass switch we got into this controller and made sure we could do the two wire start we tested that that works good and then we just got to add a battery charging circuit so we needed a breaker to get to be able to charge and maintain just a battery maintainer for the little gen rack and that's because it's yelling at me and saying charger missing charger missing of course it is so we buy these little kits these generac remote start kits and they pretty much work for any generac it gives you a little sequence and the instructions on how to change the generac to a two-wire start and it also covers like this is a 2014 so it takes you back to two different controllers depending on which controller you have an evolution 2013 and later it might be before 2013 so there's two different controllers and that determines which pins you use to get your two-wire start to work and well, we did run into a crazy thing it's the first time we've run into this where this inspector said that we needed to have a engineer show up to stamp this but it had to be a third party engineer that's a new one on me i don't know if he was having a bad day i said nothing about that on the permit so we did not get past which stinks when you're three hours out of town three hours from home and uh you got to come back so very strange dealings and i didn't feel like fighting with them over that that's just i don't know what's going on there we've never encountered that in any any ahj authority having jurisdiction in the united states where we've had to have a certified solar in uh, not a solar he just said a stamp so i said stamp from what a chemical engineer electrical engineer mechanical engineer i was trying to be a little bit i was trying to be a little bit smart because i was frustrated like what is this it's not written down anywhere it's not on your website anywhere and he just pulled it out of his hat so that was troublesome anyway i'll worry about that later the system works that's all i care about okay here's a little snapshot of the system since we've installed it we commissioned it back on the 17th and you can see every day since we have made more pv than we have used load so what we're doing is setting time of use settings up to use the battery down to 20 percent every night then recharging it every day so there's plenty of pv so so far we have a very good match of um, solar to battery to load and uh, this is awesome this is the goal on a lot of our projects if you can afford enough battery to do it Thank you.